Well, it's Friday, and John Roca's ass is fine. We, we, uh, we, no cancer, son. No cancer, no cancer, son. No cancer. I'm just living. Like, just hemorrhoids. Guys, welcome okay. back. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Welcome back to Collider Live. What a Sitting show. On a medicated pad right now. <laughs> what, what, what a show we Me have today. Um, and I'd like to first start off welcoming back to the show right away, Kate Mulligan. Hello, yeah, Kate. Okay. Yeah. Two in a row. Yep, two in a row. You like us. I like you, and I have nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> Just, that's it, it's true. It's like I, when I said, well, would you? the pins really liked you. Would you like to come back? She goes, Yes, please. And because she, I guess you didn't, you don't like to be with the family all that much. No, Same with me. No, someone else deal with that baby. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, and I found out something really cool about your son that we'll talk about in a little bit here. But also joining us at the table today, the one, the only John Rocco. Hello, Hello, John. How you doing? Good. I'm great. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm, it's yeah. Friday. Yes, Let's get man. it on. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We're Thank gonna you. be able to. Uh, I I, I kind of let it. If you watched yesterday's team match, I let it slip inside of that match. Who you guys are playing next? So we'll talk about oh. your next opponent, you and Dan. We'll right. talk about that in a little bit. Is she getting a mulligan for coming on again? Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed Come on, Cue it. that up. Cue that up. Nailed it. This is an excellent Rocco stand-up Thank you. Nailed it. Thank you. Thank you. Such a delay on that. I was like. 10 minutes past being introduced. Yeah, we're, it was all in our like, heads. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mulligan! Waiting for the waiting Well, for the that's, mulligan. that's called John Roca's stand-up career. He's right. late and delayed. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Just keep going. Like we said yesterday, it's not about your material. For sure. It's all about getting comfortable. It's all about getting comfortable. Uh, but some of his material is, it's solid. Yes, it is. He's a really good comedian, and he's also our buddy, and he's going to be going up against the smasher, Kevin Smets, in the Inner Geek <laughs> Division pretty soon, and Thanks. that is the Urban Gladiator, Jay Washington, is here. Hi. Hi. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, man. I just like to say, uh, yes. As far as Kevin Smets and his uh, lab dog go, uh, they can keep studying, but I really believe that Kaiser doesn't study. He just drinks and does uh, baking soda. He yeah. don't even sniff cocaine. He just sniffs baking, baking soda. soda. That's probably yeah. that's, that's possible. <laughs> Who's sure. lifting weights? Who was the one lifting weights and studying? Was that? That was him. That's me. No, no, no. There was on the Facebook. Oh, no. Are you talking about uh, Kaiser? You talking about the one that was lifting the five pound yeah, weights yeah. like a grown man? Yeah. That's really sad, ain't it? <laughs> it's yeah. sad. Very right? sad. Yeah. Yeah. Lifting weights don't help you in the showdown. I know you so well because like you see Kaiser. And uh, and mm. Smets and everybody talking a lot and and like I know you and in your head you're going who are these fools they haven't heard is that true <laughs> yeah basically yeah. I'm like oh yeah I can't you guys wait have never seen eye to eye, eye but you're but as far as veterans no, I'll, go I'll defend he's Jerry. He's a veteran. yeah, that's right I'll, I'll eviscerate the young rooks for the Jay because they got to carry bags they're acting like they already played in big games right. they got to carry bags first then they can talk about it. like that chance fool talking all that mess right. we'll see we'll see yeah, well that matches well, up by the way you of early in the morning that's right and that's early in the morning <laughs> when it comes not got too far hey man look i am look this is early in the morning no 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 i'm saying life oh yeah 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 you got yeah. a point life yeah. Yeah. yeah uh but anyway so a lot of great stuff happening and roxy we talked about roxy's uh first time at the table in the schmodown it, it, mm. it debuted you can see it yesterday it was the corruption match versus world's finest it was a really great match you should check that out it's on the schmodown channel but uh mark riley hi how are you sir? Hi, everyone how you doing yeah look at these huge men i yeah. can't hi, like, hi, hi everyone <laughs> there's my camera Wait, 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 no, yeah. Come over this way. There you go. You, know, you don't even have to do that. You just have to just sit there, yeah. and it's fine. They have huge tracts of land. Hey, Alex, uh, I broke Roka's pen. Can you bring me another one, please? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I stole your pen off your desk and then destroyed it. So metaphorical. It's, it's really true. Look, today is a shorter show. We're going to have a nice, uh, fun time here just shooting shit. I have a question that I'm going to ask them. Yeah, yeah. So you and I are certainly on the same page, yeah. and we're going to see where they're at. Yeah, okay? yeah. Want some cookies? No. Want <laughs> <laughs> some milk? No. I said, yeah. You know, well, you did say, yeah, that's true. All right. Season one of Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Where do you stand? Overrated or fantastic? Ooh. Oh, I would say fantastic because it spawned the show to continue. And all these great yeah, comics fantastic. were introduced the bar. from. You, you knew what, there was nothing like this. Mm -hmm. And you got something unique and different. You guys, you guys are allowed to hang out. You the Muppets, yep. the ding, Muppets ding, ding, were ding. in Correct. there as well. People forget the Muppets yeah. were like R-rated well, on that show well, initially. Well, you, yeah, need to have a, you need to have a serious conversation with your uh, your man, uh, Nost? Nost. And you need to have a serious conversation wait, with Brett. Wait, what? Yeah. They say it doesn't hold up, but like that's... Oh, you're crazy. I mean, nuts. the Wolverine hey, sketch alone holds up. The Wolverine cheaper, sketch cheaper, alone. Cheaper, 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 cheaper. Yeah. Samurai. Like bag of Glass was pretty good. Bag Mountain. of Glass, Dan Aykroyd. Mountain. Okay. Oh. I love Is she here? being drunk. Do we have her? I love <laughs> being yeah. drunk. 
Oh, wait. Mountain. Oh, so wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop the press. Stop wow. the press. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh. uh, yesterday, it was funny because we talked about uh, Roxy with, with Kate Mulligan, and, and Kate said how much she loved Roxy and loved her voice and everything about her. And then I t- Roxy texted me last night. She's like, you know, because Roxy always listens to the show after when she's not here. Like I said, she's a, she's a professional. She wants to find out what's going on, so she's in on the jokes. So she listened to like, a text from Roxy, and it says, I'm 10 minutes in it listening to Kate, and I'm already obsessed. Uh, and yeah. joining us via phone is the Roxinator. Hello, Roxy. And here's how you know it's true. She hadn't even said that she liked me yet, and I was so in. I said five minutes, Christian. It just started <laughs> out. I well, I love that. Well, we thought about you know because one of the things, Roxy, I was just talking about it before. You know, we're going to Star Wars Celebration uh, in April, all of us, and we're going to be there for the Schmodown. And and that one Friday, we're trying to figure out programming. And we haven't come to any conclusions yet, but one of the things I was thinking about potentially doing was that this long-awaited one-on-one with you hosting and, you know, with, with me being the, the subject. Yeah, you've kind of wimped out a couple times on this, haven't you, Christian? Well, that's not a wimped out. It's just that the show itself is just on hiatus. So I was like, what if that, that episode for that Friday is that particular episode? And I was like, well, wait a minute. They're really, like, talk about research. Roxy Stryer is, is, the, is the queen of it. So I was like, well, Kate's here. And Kate kn- knew the uh, knew the me back in the day. So if going into the interview, if Roxy wanted to, if she had any questions, then I'm sure Kate. This is why I'd probably have to step out or, and, and run away. But uh, Roxy, what uh, is is there anything you want to ask Kate or no? Or should we just move on to something else you want to talk about? Are you kidding? I mean, I want to ask her questions for ten hours, but <laughs> I keep mm-hmm. hearing about this 2006 Christian Harloff. Mm-hmm. 2006 mm-hmm. Christian mm-hmm. Harloff. I don't even know what that means. Like. What does that look like? Okay. Can you paint me a picture? First of all, everything. Tell first me. of all, it's such an honor to speak with you. <laughs> 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 Secondly, it's such an honor to speak with you. Um, so picture a less successful Dane Cook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Damn. No. 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 Damn. Look at Jay. Damn. Look at Jay. Fire. Dude, that- Fire. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> He wasn't selling out Madison Garden, but he was bagging some puss here and there. Oh! And player. Uh, yeah, not a player though. Not a player. No, because he was. Have we people settled know, his definition? We, I agree with his definition. Okay, okay. Yeah. Respect. Yeah, I. Um, I hear that. What does that like? So he goes on stage, he does his set, and then afterwards, are women just like swarming to him? Is he going out and like picking them out? How does that happen? I think it was probably a little from column A, a little from column B. Like he, I, I feel like if there was if there was somebody he was interested after they saw him on stage, there's no question they would be interested in him. Mm-hmm. But what I about the, the dinner side, like the drinking, the hanging? Mm-hmm. Was he, and I heard about a bunch of different fights. Did you ever witness any of these? I was never there for any of the fights. Fights was before that. Yeah, fights was before. I that. mean, I yeah. feel like that's got to be the Florida era it, for you. It was the be- it was the end of the Florida era. <laughs> no offense, Florida. No, no, it was the end of the Florida era and the beginning of LA. And then it was. And then I said, what, what am I doing here? So yeah. yeah, that that was there was there was none of that during that time. It was more about trying to focus on the career. Yeah. Yeah. So. Did you get to meet, meet these said women of him not being a player? Did you get to see any of them actually? Well, you just could tell which one was. At the end of a show, you sort of were like, oh, yeah, crop top, third row. <laughs> <laughs> crop top, third row. She Clearly wasn't going, was to, she wasn't going home with show. me. But, <laughs> but she could have. She could have. Yeah, she she could have. She could have. Yeah, <laughs> people are coming. Listen, and, yeah, because that's the thing with Kate, though, too. Kate I was, was also, I mean, I was in a fun phase. Too. Yeah, you were in a fun phase, too. So was, Kate, Kate was. Kate would crush and the same thing, and she would be, it would be, she'd be scoping out. Well, that yeah, but no no dude's like, that girl's real funny. I got I to gotta go get with that. It's, yeah, like, it's the, the worst. Does it have, do, do female comedians have male groupies? Like, male guys were waiting for, to ask them out afterwards? Like I that? see it all the Every night, you yeah, you see well, when you see it. Dude, I not, no, no, no. <laughs> meaning, I see, true. I see it. Where as women be like, "Yo, where's the dude groupies?" And like dudes be kind of scared to come talk that's to probably, That's true. It's that's the dudes are scared. True. It was more about them being, I, I think, intimidated women. because you because what, because the thing is, that everybody, the whole situation, it was in it, comedians, it's ancestral for sure. And like there was a, I remember. This is this is a great. Do you remember this? The the Tom Connolly beach party. Oh house? my god. It's, again, I, this is this is this is the Ugh. this is the confidence I had that my wife doesn't listen to the I show. I actually need to uh, take a Plan B. I know. Just from <laughs> Jesus, okay, okay. that it was this. Ha- this I mean, this was, this was like Roxy. It was like 
Big Brother uh, meets Temptation Island. This whole this whole house was crazy with the <laughs> wow. amount of shit going on. And all I remember, it's like it was two in the morning. There were people sleeping in all the bedrooms, sleeping on the floor. And this is the thing I remember is I'm, I'm walking. You know, I know exactly. I completely blocked this out. And there was this, and, I, and there was really attractive girl that I was hanging out with for the for the weekend. And I, I'm walking. Spoiler: out, It wasn't me. And, and I'm walking out towards the back, and on the floor is someone sleeping. Who reaches their hands up and gives me a condom, <laughs> and it was Kate. <laughs> As we're walking through, it was like, it was like almost like Willy Wonka. <laughs> so we're just like out of nowhere, this hand just goes, "Use it." I knew, I knew what he needed. Yeah, it was, and but you were laying down with somebody too, aren't you? No, no, that was. I mean, I listen. Nothing happened for me that night. No, I, I'm joking about needing to take a Lambie okay. from remembering that. But no, no, was I was. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like I was not. Kate, yeah. Why yeah. are you on the floor? I don't understand. We were sleeping. We all slept floor? over. We all, it was like, what was it called? Summer of Tom or something? It was something. Some, it was, what did he call it? Redondo. Some, Redondo the summer of Redondo. Some, I don't like, remember what it was. Whatever it was. Yeah. We, we, he did it every year. Yeah, and it was like, just, it was just. Just debauchery. And then everything. we all spent wow. the night. This was like pre-Uber too. This was oh, like yeah. before you could get any place. So you just had to like. Crash on the floor. Yeah. And everybody kind of wanted to anyway because if, if you if you missed basically the answer to that question, Roxy, is why was she, because you the way you'd have to secure a room is if you went to bed early and Kate's a partier. Yeah, I, I didn't go to bed early. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that, that went down a road. Uh, <laughs> Roxy, got anything remember else? To, remember when we talked to Jeff Die and I was saying like I'm sure you get a ton of pussy because that's what I hear about all comedians they get off and he was like no. That's just a rumor, and you said the same thing, Christian. You said that that doesn't happen, but now I'm hearing it does happen, and you guys just straight up lied to me. I don't think I said it doesn't happen. I, I Did think... he know his wife was listening to that? No, she doesn't. She doesn't listen to the show. But uh, I, I, I didn't. I, I bet you, you go back to that. I didn't say that because I, because I, like I said, I knew, I knew that. Curiouser and curiouser. You had a, you know, look. It's one of those things. You had a, you had a good set. You had a good I set. like what you're doing. This call going all the way around this to try to come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think if you went, I think if you went, sometimes, you're sometimes the Roxy will even admit she she hears a conversation in her head from what it used to be, what what, what she thought mm. it was, and then not what it really is. That mm. is, that is. Very true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So. So that's that, good to know. Yeah. So that particular thing, I don't think I've ever really said that, but you know, once again, we'll have to see. But uh, yeah. So there's uh, there's a lot there's a lot that we can definitely talk about, and I think that uh, Kate will be in here. I want to get you and Kate on the same show with with you, you know, in studio, rocks. I know. I need that. She's like my new partner in crime. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Number three. It is an honor to speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. Well, all right. Cool. So yeah, you got to do. You got to do. Sj screen junkies in a little bit here too. You got any any other parting uh, questions you want to hit the mulligan with, or you're good? I'm just gonna miss you guys for the rest of the show. I'll, I'll think of it for next time good. for when I see her. But have. Great show, and I'll see you guys on my. You too, crush it on, Roxy. on Roxy. Screen Junkies Bye, news. Roxy. It is a pleasure to always Thanks. talk to Rox. Now, I was actually, like I said, I did movie fights yesterday. Um, I well, I don't want to spoil it for people as far as what happened. I want them to go and, and check. I want them to go check yeah, out. I don't okay. want to spoil the results, but I. Yeah. But all, like I said yesterday, I get in there and uh, and Billy uh, Billy Business and 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 it was Dan. I wanted to build up to Dan. Danny they gave, well, they gave me Dan on the first mat. The whole point is I haven't played movie fights in like two years. Mm -hmm. So I said I wanted to go in there and I was going to build my way back up and then eventually get to, to Dan. Right. First match is against Dan. And it's like, you know, so <laughs> I guess that was my... The, it was a quick build up. Yeah. It, it was your welcome back. So you're on the other it? side sometimes. It's just on the other side because in the Schmodown sometimes you'll schedule these new guys who have been playing a bit against the tougher competition. And I, then... I rarely do that though. Yeah, yeah. I really... Cody, does he rarely do that? <laughs> 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 oh, God. That's true. Poor Cody. Cody Cody started with me and then he and then I was because I thought Cody. Or was... even Nost. Did you put Nost up against uh, McWeenie or something? I, yeah, but that, My first no. match was against Andraco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? But first, of all, first of all, but that was Andraco's second match. And and Nost was already a, a team champion at one point. Well, later played. on, but not when he played the no. singles. First singles time. He was I a think. team champion when he played against McQueen. Oh, okay. So he was already. He was. They, you know, I don't want to hear. About <laughs> and plus, I think. And the other reason why I remember that. I remember yeah. that because Nost, Nost was talking shit. I'm like, all right, let's see how you do against McQueen. He was. Yeah. So see, that's so, just. He petty. did risk your eyes. That's just petty. Of course it is. That's hella petty. Absolutely. And I love it. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Welcome to Pettyville. That's right. Population <laughs> Christian Harlow. Well, right. Well, because if he came in, look, he could he could have shoved it in my head and said, listen, I just beat McQueen. What you got now? But yeah. That's true. He lost. That's how you got to do it. Sorry, Nost. 
Yep. But going by tickets for the top ten show. Top <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> April 11th. Yeah. Reggie's Live. Two shows. Two shows. Go there. Reggie's Reggie's live. Live. It was good I'm, to I might come by there that day, given the fact I'll Please be come home. by. Yeah, yeah. So what's the and deal? Buy a You're ticket. coming in, Chicago. I'll, I'll be there. Yeah, uh, uh, I'll be there in Chicago. I'm opening for Ellis for his, uh, nice. for his special that he's taping on Friday. And given the fact that I'm home, so I yeah. will be getting all levels of ridiculously wasted. Uh, I will be white girl wasted. Oh. Puerto Rican girl wasted, black dude wasted. I'm confused. Oh, it's just all of them, all in one. Yeah. And then I'll be sleeping on Tom Connolly's floor at the end. Of uh, I'll be sleeping Do on you somebody. Need a condom? <laughs> I'm gonna get some from all of the Planned Parenthood <laughs> Plan in B, the black yeah. neighborhood. Plan That's right. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I, I hear something about you. Magnum. What did you hear? I hear something about you that is very interesting that what? not a lot of people say these days. What? You found a payphone. Man, listen. What a twist. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, the twist is so beautiful. Listen, what happened. I was on my way to the studio today yeah. to come and do this live show, and I was getting on a metro. This is an offensive voice. I'm just I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to let him hang himself. Like, <laughs> no, I was going to stop it eventually. Yeah. Somebody yeah. Said something. But no, I was at the metro link to catch the train down here in Van Nuys by my house. The I metro. Shut the hell up. <laughs> and when I saw it, I was like, that's a payphone thing. It's and a payphone. Stop. And I was like, oh. damn it, shut the fuck no, up. <laughs> <laughs> I like Roka told himself to shut the hell up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I feel like that's what happens in Roka's oh, head yeah, every Roka. morning. Please. That or the Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. No, no, right. shut the fuck up. <laughs> but so I saw this, you know, you see the payphone thing. You're like, oh, there's no phone in here. And there's actually a phone and it worked. And I was like, this is wow. how drug deals still happen in 2019. Yeah, that's amazing. This is, this is like the wire. What was yeah. the what was the price? Uh free. <laughs> Free Wait. calls. Wait, free what? Calls. Yes, it says free calls. Like, you can just go. Is that what they do now? Wow. No wonder they went out of business. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ain't got to put a quarter in or shit. Nothing. I was like, man, okay. And it was and it was available? It was available. Wait, I, it was at the Metro? It was at the Metro that's Link. Probably for, no, the, the bigger. Well, that's the bigger. probably for people who may be assaulted. Or yeah, they have, yeah, yeah. They're afraid. Yeah, but those are special on ones. Those are special, they have special ones. ones for that one? Yeah, they have those. Okay. I'm from Chicago. Wow. We have those everywhere. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. Just saying, but I was like, I took a picture with it, and I was like, "Yo, I found a payphone," and one of my boys was like, "Now nah, you have hepatitis," and I was like, "Fuck, yeah. that yeah, might be it's true." true. It's, it is like finding a uh, uh, Where's Waldo when you fi- when you find those things. An right? actual payphone, man. Yeah, it's listen. crazy. They're not everywhere. I wanted to take it and bring it here, and then this way you yeah, take you know. it and put it on eBay afterwards because you know Seriously. you get at least seventy two dollars. Did you, you put it to your ear? Or did you no, just I just like, put it like it was by did my you ear. You hold it? Like I held it. Okay, but, I, but you didn't put it on. No, your I didn't put okay, it. Okay, 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 I'm not okay. that dumb. Okay, right, I just want to make sure. I might be sometimes Pure, stupid. Pure L, man. Um, let's. Okay, cool. So congratulations on finding that. Thank you, man. I felt like you it was a, part of. It's like Indiana Jones. You found a relic. I know. I felt I found a relic, and uh, <laughs> you know what? It was looking for Carmen San Diego next. Okay, cool. All right, good. This table is a disaster, by the way. It's an absolute disaster. Uh, it's a this looked like one of that uh, the result of that night you had at the I house. Was say, this is- <laughs> <laughs> like, you, like you were on the table, it's just like get it, in. It's not. It's not good. This is after a good Christian Harloff set. Which yeah. is, which yeah. is, <laughs> <laughs> is what you said. The table. He must have killed tonight. He was. Christian was crushing more than <laughs> one. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. I mean, that thing is a mess. It, I, I, I told that. I said, like, I, you be lucky. By the time we get out of here, if this thing hasn't collapsed and, and broken either myself or Kate's kneecaps. You need to look. Get, look what Kate found a screw. screw. I think you think you got to the bottom of this. No, what you should do is get an intern, hire him just to hold the table up at the bottom. Tell oh, them they geez. get their college credit. Look, that's what interns are meant for. No offense, Alex, but that's what interns were meant for. Right. Sure. Just hold hey, the table. Alex. Up. I just like to say it. Um, what, what, hey, Alex. Thank you so much. This is a cool thing that I heard going into one of my favorite movies of all time. All time. It would probably be in my top 20. I'm not even kidding. Mm-hmm. The Transformers 1986 oh, yeah. film. Yeah. I love this movie. Mm-hmm. I love everything about it. It's the, the essence of what I wanted Transformers to be and the, the gold standard to what Transformers movies should have been. And I think Bumblebee only got close. Mm-hmm. Don't don't say that around him. You know how he is. But no, but but he 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 acknowledges that they're fun, stupid movies. The yeah, ones the that, he, that, that he likes. Okay. But, but he okay. made four and a half billion dollars. But he doesn't. Yeah. You don't compare. So suck it. Quality wise, you don't compare it to the no, 86 of film. No, 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 no. So right before we go on air, Kate Mulligan says something amazing, mm-hmm. which is. That's my son's favorite movie. I love your son's Yeah. Movie. I love your son. <laughs> how did that's you find amazing. this movie? We, so we, we go to the library still. Like it's it's You know how it is with kids. You're like, what the fuck do I do with right. them now? We're like, excursion to the library. I mean, like we can buy any movie we want, but we go to the library and we checked out the DVD. And he will. He's, that was the one that he found? That's the one he found. I love this kid. And he 
honest. I mean, he was he's been Bumblebee for Halloween. I mean, nice. it, it helped that the Bumblebee movie came out. But like then when I took him to see mm. that, it was he was like, "This is too scary," and he wanted to go. Yeah, how old is he? He's almost four. He'll almost, be four in oh, April. Okay, yeah, that's that's a tough. But he will sit through that 1986. He watched it. He watches it now, maybe once a day. Do you watch? The, is it the one with the curse or without the curse? When, with, well, we didn't know. We did not screen mm, it with him. Oh, okay. you didn't know it was the original. Horrible. One. He was like, mm-hmm. oh shit, what do we do now? So yeah. he, he had a speech <laughs> impediment. So he'd been walking around, and we're like, it sounds like he's saying bullshit. But that's it. Also sounds like he, when he says Spider Man, he's saying Fireman. You know right. what I mean? Okay, right. like, oh, oh, who knows what this kid's saying? But he was. He, it turns out. Then we watched the movie with him like a couple nights ago. And we're like, oh, yeah. it, he actually. It's uh, Daniel's dad. It's um, Spike. Spike. It was Spike. Spike yeah. When oh, they Spike try to blow, I thought, Spike I thought oh, shit. No. When they try Spike. to open Spike up. When they try to blow it, yeah. up the planet to get rid of some of the Decepticons, right. and it, it's Unicron. Right. And like, but he's sitting right. next to Bumblebee. Yeah. He's like, yeah. oh yeah. shit. What are we doing now? Yeah. Yeah. He goes, oh shit. I remember that. But then also, it's like it's like thirty minutes into the movie, you're like, you made it this far into the movie without swearing. Why throw that one in? Don't forget, Ultra Magnus says, "Open, damn it, open." He tries to open the yeah, yes. I love shit out there. I yes. love that movie. It's, yep. so, it's so, the, the best. The one thing that you should can you bring up uh, Optimus Prime Returns spoof? Wait, what? Have you ever seen this? No. no. Oh, it's amazing. If Kate, you'll you uh, the wake. That's it. The rude awakening. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this for everybody. This is incredible because that's it. That's the, an ad. No, that's an ad. But I'm gonna play this for everybody because audio listeners can enjoy this as well. This was this is one of the most amazing. Have you ever seen this, Roka? I don't think I Oh, have. my God. You guys are in for a treat. Holy so crap. In, in, in the 1986 movie, Optimus Prime dies. Of and, course. And he came back. Spoiler alert. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Optimus Prime lives. Our leader is back. Hey, Quintesson. You brought me back to life? It was an accident. <laughs> Where's Ratchet? He's gone, Prime. We've got big problems. These spores are infecting everybody. They're making them destroy each other. You're our last hope, Prime. Oh dear. If Megatron gets his hands on those spores, there's no telling what he'll do. You mean Galvatron, Prime. Galvatron? Yes, Galvatron. <laughs> Rodimus, tell me about this Galvatron. <laughs> Unicron rebuilt Megatron into a robot called Galvatron. He's way stronger, and he's totally insane. Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) We need to stop Unicron. Ah, Prime. Cup, my old friend. We already defeated Unicron. He's just a head (laughs) coming around his face now. (laughs) Good work, Autobots. Now we can focus on stopping Galvatron. We need to stop the spores from spreading. Ah, yes, the spores. Do you have a plan, Optimus? Of course I have a plan. Ironhide, Prowl, Hover. I want you to raise your hand. I don't know how to tell you this, Optimus. (laughs) I'm afraid they didn't survive the attack (laughs) on the (laughs) night of battle. I'm sorry, Prime. Ironhide, dead. My friends. It seems we're in worse shape than I thought, Autobots. Who do we have left? Wheelie say, I help you today. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Wheelie's my name. Wanna play a game? No. Uh, Prime, Wheelie's been helping us out for a little while now. Vector Sigma. We use him as a decoy. A lot. He can stay and guard the base. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Optimus, it's me, Blur. It's so great that you're Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Shut up, Parker. <laughs> Out of all the Autobots to survive. <laughs> Fuck me. This is all your fault, Rodimus. Great. Who else is still with us? Yo, this is Blaster Blaster at you. Don't you worry, Jack. You know I got your back. How you doing, Prime? Blaster. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> What's up, you motherfucker? <laughs> 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 For sure. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sorry, let it go. Now, who else? Hey, Brian, it's me, Bumblebee. Bumblebee, my small little friend. You look different. Yeah, I just got totally rebuilt. I feel better than ever. I feel like a gold bug. <laughs> and that's who you'll be from now on, Bumblebee. Gold bug. <laughs> wow, thanks. 
Gold bug. <laughs> Last piece. Don't let it bother you, kid. Wish I could feel like a gold bug at my old age. I feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> and that's who you'll be from now on, cup. Shit piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can turn it off. Uh, shit piece. Uh, I, I mean. That that was like very much in the vein of like those GI Joe yeah. things. The GI Joe ones are so with the uh, pork chop sandwiches. Oh, oh the best one. Never seen those. Nope. Oh my God, the best so one is the X Men. I'm the Juggernaut. That's still that's good too. But that freaking stupid ass Brett Ratner ruined that for me when oh, he yeah. when he when he watched he yeah. watched it on the internet. Thought it was they so didn't funny. Do it in X Men in the movie. It's yeah. like dude, you, like stop, stop, yeah, I'm dummy. The juggernaut, bitch. Yeah. Charles beat the shit out. Anyway, so that I I I love those things. Do yourself a favor and, and Google. Uh, pork chop sandwiches, okay. G.I. Joe. It is hysterical. I can watch that all day long. Um, I mean, look, we, I guess we, we should talk about this thing, uh, the Avengers Endgame poster. There's kind of a backlash for, because they didn't, uh, what, what happened? They didn't include Denai Guerrero in the top, in the key art, in the top li yeah. listing. Everybody was like, she on the poster, so why isn't her name on there? You care about the only black woman. As a black dude, I understand why everybody got instantly pissed, but also as a dude who works in TV and films, who's been in movies, who's been in television shows and understands contracts, her contract may not have said that. Right. And so, how big of a role does she have in this I mean, role? she was the breakout, well, calm your ass down. You used to, like, what? you just like, what? like, you said nothing. What'd you say? I didn't say it anyway. oh, I'm sorry, I felt like she you called said. your black oh, ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find another payphone, bitch. I'm so, <laughs> used to, <laughs> I'm so used to Roker just saying shit. He didn't say it. Okay, <laughs> oh, my bad, Roker. I apologize. At least one. you got some heroes on the poster, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no Latinos in the Marvel Universe, apparently. They, com they coming. They coming. Shit. Eventually. Uh, <laughs> but no, so they. she was one of the breakout stars of Black Panther, of course, and she survived the snap right. in Infinity War. So when she was on the post, everybody was like, well, she should be listed. She's at the bottom crawl. Her name is down there, but her name is, is, isn't is in top. the top. And they fixed it. And they fixed it right. instantly because, of course, when whoever did it put it out, you know, they just looked over and was like, all right, we got everybody cool. Right. It, just, it, it wasn't it wasn't done, like, uh, maliciously. It was so, And they said, you know, let's, let's change it up. And they until changed it up. All of, until Black yeah. Twitter hit. Which I need to let you all know, Black Twitter will oh fuck boy. up your whole world. I don't even think what's that? It's Blitter, right? Is that what? It's no, called? fuck. I'm Blitter. just asking. Damn. It's called Black Twitter. Oh. That is exactly what it. Oh, black no. Twitter hit and was like, "Oh no, you did!" Because of course it was a bunch of black women, right. and then there was some black dudes and probably the root, mm. uh, and they were all like, "The roots? That. The, yeah. the, 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 no, the root is oh, a the very roots. pro woke black website, oh, and right. they just really get on black people's nerves sometimes. Right on. Okay. And so. They all went, you know, crazy about it, and then somebody was in Disney and Marvel was like, "What the fuck just happened?" <laughs> it's, like it's like they don't oh, have the money shit. to change the marketing up pretty fast. They change it up and they, they yeah, they, yeah, they, they fixed it super quick. I like the fact that they were. I, to me, that's the type of thing that I want to see. Them, we messed up. Let's yeah. fix it. And we fixed it. And the best part is how they acknowledged. It. I'm sorry, Kate. No, no. They yeah. acknowledged it in a tweet. Good. Marvel Studios yeah. was like, she should have been up here the whole time. Good for them. And they acknowledged it. So. I mean, it, it's possible they didn't mess up, and it's exactly what you're talking about. I mean, that, that she just, it wasn't in her contract. Because right. you know somebody checked to make sure everybody who was contractually right. supposed to be on the key art mm -hmm. was on the key art. Yep. So, it, I mean, now it's not in her contract, maybe, but she's on the poster. She's on the poster. And, and, and let's be fair, she just got introduced. She was really well known for being on The Walking Dead. Yeah. So it's like it's like she just got introduced in the Black in Black Panther. Uh, and so this idea of having her be up there with everyone else who's been on multiple movies in this universe, maybe that was their logic. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying that might have been their logic. It just wasn't quite just, that. I, don't know. The the I can't speak been on something. it because I don't know how big her role is. Right, right. I if Bozeman was on the poster and he wasn't in that, then yeah, that's a whole other ball. Because to be completely honest with you, if she's not, I mean, if she doesn't have a big role in the movie. Yeah. But they all but they put her on the poster. I they mean, put her. She's, she's, the, she's, she's on, on the poster. poster. She's, she's in the poster. On the poster. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. Cheetle. Yeah. You would assume she's got a pretty big role because, mm -hmm. again, she's the one that's holding T'Challa when, right. when well, it yes. all goes and down. And she's in the trailer. And she's shot. in the trailer. Yep. So you would assume she's got a pretty big role. Mm -hmm. Then she should be included in the thing. I'm just again, I haven't seen the movie, so I, yeah. I don't know. I just want to say again, shout out to all the listeners and the viewers who have no idea what Black Twitter is. Please don't try to find it because if you do, no, go find it. No, because if you do, you say the wrong thing, they're gonna let your ass have it. Comment. Oh, just yeah, go just, find just it. Just go read it. It's just, fun to yeah, read. Yeah, once you read through Black Twitter, you'll be like, "Oh my God, I'm not as woke as I thought." And let yeah, me it's, step on back. It's good. <laughs> it's good to have that perspective. It's the truth. Um, another thing, I gotta, I gotta switch up to here because Riley, Riley gets very, when Riley gets very excited about videos, he calls me and he's like, "You got, you got all this." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's a video that is, a, it's a hit in the internet right now. It's ridiculous, <laughs> and, and, and I love it. It's go, my go, ahead, go ahead and bring it up. It's just an egg. 
It's just an egg. Look at what it. Is it? Turn, go to the beginning. Oh, yeah. You gotta go to the beginning. Just an egg. Just an egg with a hole in it. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, stuff, like, stuff like this. It's just Sorry. incredible. I mean, it's between, so good. But between that and the R. Kelly remix videos they've oh, yeah, been doing, yeah, yeah. I played that on the show the other day. Yeah, I yeah. have not stopped uh, crying laughing thanks to Twitter. The yeah. internet's are undefeated. Well, listen, man. That's why I had this conversation like, that I had such a head scratch moment when Brett and and Matt were talking about season one at SNL because I watched mm. the SNL skit, the open mm-hmm. uh, when they were doing the R. Kelly thing. It was. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. <sighs> it was the premise is good. There were no funny jokes I, at all. And, Nothing and was I got, funny. And, those and I got two love from my couple, but couple yeah. my buddies that are in the cast. But it's like sometimes they're grasping their straws oh, because they're they're scrambling. Brutal. Like, oh, this just happened. We need to do our own variation of this. It was brutal. It was, there was yeah. nothing funny about it. it that was, that opening sketch. No, oh. I, it felt like they missed beats throughout it. Leslie was looking at the. Reading the and it felt like there were missing moments. Well, usually those two couldn't hit it. It was just no, the, the magician was sketch so was terrible bad. too. I, that was the only one I saw. Oh, okay, yeah, but mm. I, I just because I, I wanted to watch it because mm. that clip was so funny. I was like, they're gonna get some gold out of this. Yeah, it was a dud. Yeah, it was seven eight minutes. Oh. Which I can't wait to go back home and just have all this glory talking about this idiot. It's just gonna oh, be so okay. beautiful. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But wait, the, the one thing though, it's, I found out. Let's see what you guys think of this. Last night we were searching for that soccer sketch that they did that made fun of Arsenal, made fun of like Sky Sports. Sports and soccer mm-hmm. and that Idris Elba did playing oh, okay. a dumb player who says homophobic and misogynistic shit, yeah. which was very, very funny. Uh, but they took it down. It's nowhere on the internet. Wow. The wow. only where the only place you can see the sketch is if you watch a like a on YouTube TV, if you watch the whole episode, it shows but up. They, but they, but, but they, they actually yeah, but they actually aired it that night. They aired, they aired it that night, and you can like we watched it last night going back and watching the whole episode, right. but you cannot find the sketch this, taken this, out. This is the, they this, took it down. See, and I don't know the, why. This is a tricky part of the world right now because Comedy, comedy is going to suffer from the way that the and it already has the way it that the world is because, because, like I said, like my thing, and I stick by this, and I don't care if it's if it's not right to say or anything. To the comedy club is a church for comedians. It is mm-hmm. where you should be able to try anything that you want, anything, no matter what it is. Now, that doesn't mean that everyone has to like what you're saying. It doesn't mean that everyone has to laugh. People can choose to look at you and hate you for what you're saying, but it is your right. To say now, this is not. This does not include what that imbecile Michael Richards did back in at the Laugh yeah, Factory. Right. Well, this, yeah. That is that is not comedy. That is a blatant, angry moron screaming uh, racial stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, well at I'm, somebody too. Correct. Yeah. Like as an insult. I'm talking about you can like. My, the perfect example, and I say it, and I said it last time. When when we, I went to Mitzi Shore's uh, like ceremony that they had for her at the Comedy Store, Brian Holtzman, who's one of the best comedians that you don't know, he is incredible and everything out of his mouth if he was on this show or on twitter they would go after him and say oh my god how could you do this and it was tears and stitches funny and it takes away from comedy to where you you know sometimes when everybody's like oh my goodness you gotta you gotta be careful you gotta be careful with you you're gonna hurt people because some i Again, I understand messages. I understand the fights, but you, but comedy's taking a huge hit well, because of this. And also, you have a lot of because I'm privy to see this, unfortunately, in a lot of open mics now. When you get a lot of dudes who don't have jokes, they just want to say a bunch of racist bullshit. But they're still on stage and they can try to do it. Yeah, I, I get that. They can try I, to do you it. You can try to do it. In but, the then, club. but the problem is, you have those guys who then go, "Oh, people were trying to stifle me. They didn't want to hear this. No, just no, nobody yeah. did shit." Well, but there's the a difference. difference there, Jay. No, you no, can, uh, you no, can no. go up and you can try it, and then like you can go, "Dude, that wasn't funny. That was just racist." Get you know, you better you better well, make that shit yeah. funny. Well, no, luckily, like if people would hate those type of people. I've had to go behind them, and yeah. I said, "Fuck my whole set." Basically, I'm going to talk about you, but I know how to do it where it's funny, right? And yes. I'm laying into you. Yes. That's the George Carlin thing. You know, I don't anything, know how to do is, it. anything is funny. Anything mm-hmm. can be funny. Yeah. But you've got to be the right person to make it funny. Yeah. Because right. you can go up there because the same all those those idiots that you're talking about at open mic that are trying these jokes, you give that to a seasoned comedian or someone else who knows what they're doing and has a different tone and yeah. has a different personality. They can make the same joke, the same premise funny. Mm-hmm. They can just they do it with their spin on it. So that's why mm-hmm. the comedy club should be you should be allowed to try anything. You should I mean look. There is a difference, and there's something to be said about going to like a, if you're doing an open mic at a restaurant. Oh that, yeah, that, people that, having dinner and everything. Yeah, yeah. people yeah. aren't necessarily there for the comedy show. Right. Then, then you got to be conscious of that. Mm-hmm. But if you're in the OR, uh, the comedy store, the Laugh Factory, you should be able to do whatever you want to do and if try. If you are in an actual OR, 
Yes, you, you should, shouldn't. You no. should probably not. I mean, depending on the I mean, if you're the surgeon, you probably will. Just let the surgeon do. Well, some surgeons probably crack jokes where they got somebody open. I saw Patch Adams. I thought they were. See, can I ask about? Can we go back to SNL for a second, though? Can I ask? Is 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 network television like just no longer? I mean, we've got the internet now where people can put filthy, mm, boundary pushing yeah. things out. We've got cable. We've got Netflix. Like where you know you've you've got shows like Big Mouth, which is like the. F- I mean, oh, I so love funny, I love Big Mouth. But now, is 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 it? Does it mean that like is SNL gonna die? You know, because That's a great it's question, it's, and because it's it's network well, television, well, so that, everything has to be watered down. Mm-hmm. That discussion you know has I mean? come up before, before Will Ferrell's class, right before Will Ferrell's class, it was like, well, SNL is about to die, right. and so right. it goes to those things. They've been saying that forever, forever. Yes. so for it goes, different reasons. No, like now, what she's talking about I, I is the restriction no, of comedy. No, I, get, I absolutely get it. That people aren't funny, but I think I I don't think it'll go anywhere because the way SNL plays itself. Yeah. Well, you know, here's what here's the thing I don't like about it, but it's also the reason that keeps them on the air is they've they've gone very political. Yeah, and that's what I'm just that's what I'm bringing up. Yeah, they've gone very political, and the reason it, it's almost like the only reason I watch it now is I think I think Jost and uh, Michael Che are great. Yeah, uh, they're very funny. Uh, I I want I watch because I also like to get caught up some more on some of the news that's going yeah. on, you know, too. And I think that that's something the Daily Show's done. And uh, but the the reason they stay on is because when they do big segments, whether it's funny or not, with, with Baldwin coming in, I'm kind of, I'm sick to death of the, the Trump thing with I Baldwin. Think everybody I so, I'm so sick of it. It's, it's not funny anymore. He probably is, too. They he, burnt it out real quick. Oh, man, yeah. all he does is to do the perch the lips thing. It's the same bit over and over again. It's like, dude, just, we get it. Just just do also something Also, we're else. just sick of Trump in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I mean, but even but even so, it's like, but the, that that's the tricky thing, because it's such, I mean, it's such a left-wing show, Saturday Night Live, that it, you, you're, that is, where, you're going there, you're not right. going to go there. If you're watching Fox News, especially after Trump's blasting mm. it, it's probably taking a huge hit. However, it's probably also upped its amount of viewers from mm-hmm. the people who are on the far oh, left absolutely. that just want to watch it. Yeah. So that's where they get their ratings from. That's what they're able to do. I, th- I mean, my my personal opinion is it's why it's so not funny anymore because that's all they try to do. And the stuff that they try to do, the original stuff, it just doesn't work mm-hmm. anymore. These they, They've gone away from those Wayne's World type characters and the things that they used to make It so used to funny. be character driven yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the, even like the Will Ferrell, like the yeah. cheerleaders. Everybody, oh, you know, the cheerleaders like, are the greatest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kristen Wiig, I feel like, you know, like they sell the small hands mm-hmm. Hands now it's like yeah. it's like a board game like you know they're, I mean? they're, like, yeah. they're reaching like you said you you can't go from one thing showing that hey we're going to talk about all this political stuff and then say hey we got a cute little character sketch over here because it's like it doesn't fit well, they always, but they were always political they've always been political yeah, but they haven't been but they overly haven't, right overly they been sma- yeah. they're smashing you over the head of politics now and it's like it's just it's just yeah. too much because Will Ferrell used to do Bush all the yeah, time yeah, yeah but, yeah, but I it was think, more goofy I, I think that it's a weird thing because you look at Trump you, Trump within himself is a sketch comedy show every day yeah. and so you're like well well how can you improve upon that yeah. on the show it's almost overkill so it mm. feels that way it feels like why are you making fun of a guy that's so easily make funnable and leno was on today's show talking about it. he goes comedy was so much easier back when clinton was horny and bush was dumb now it's just everything's very tribalistic so yeah and so snl gets painted with this left brush but because there's no really big democratic people to come out and act the fool that they can make fun of mm. that overtly but once that's, this yeah. once this cycle of nominees comes through for 2020 they're gonna Rip and make fun of them. Again, shout out to Black Twitter on that note because Black Twitter gonna cut everybody down real quick. (laughs) No, I mean they 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 always always take shots at people, but they're they're clearly driven towards the the left side of things. I mean they they Mm -hmm. they they, they just. Oh, I'm not saying they are. I'm not saying they are. I mean because they they've pop shots at at Hillary Clinton before too, but you can tell in the way that they 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 do it, it's more it's more like they're just kind of the. Mm Old impressionist flattery thing works for the Clinton side of things right, when they do right. it, but it's clearly not that for Trump. They're, they're because clearly, it's mockery. It goes from impressionist. It's, it's, yeah, right. So well, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty clear. It's but, ironic because uh, this episode was probably probably one of the most like um, daring episodes that I've ever seen. Like the WNBA sketch, I, I thought know. was hilarious. And people were up in arms about it because it was these three dudes who were trying to gold dig with the WNBA women, trying to get that middle class money, trying to get that middle class money, making fun of how little the WNBA. <laughs> so it was subtly a brilliant sketch, but people were bitching that, saying, and that's first why you stereotype the women and, and as that's lesbians. Why season or one used to like, do. Season one, yes. was, season one was yes. you didn't see that type of stuff on television, yes. and they would take shots and they would go after things. And that's I think that Saturday Night Live should continue to do that. And as much as even though that, yes. I well, that's, that's Pete, pr- David, Pete Davidson oh has God. been doing it. He got 
in trouble for that too. Of course he did, but that's what his his shtick is right. now, and his thing is, you know, for but he needs to know like what he was doing when he when he made fun of the uh, of the vet. Mm. He did it wrong. right. He did it wrong. And he admitted that he did it and wrong. He brought, and he brought the guy on. He brought him on yeah. and apologized because the way he just kind of d- disregarded the mm-hmm. guy's mm-hmm. service and knew he was wrong about it. But going into it, the actual joke about that, what the guy looked like right, right. was funny. It was just mm-hmm. it was afterwards where he just disregarded the guy's service that everyone right. rightfully mm, right, right. got mad at. But then Pete apologized. But Pete going after the Catholic Church this past weekend. Well, I mean, uh, that's how you got to do it. It was two gotta... lines, and he was getting so much hit. I'm like, but this also, is brilliantly that funny. It, start, it starts in the writer's room, right. first and foremost. Right, right, yeah, right, it's, right. it's not pretty much. It doesn't all fall on the performance. Mm-hmm. It starts in that writer's room when they're when they're you know brainstorming ideas and everything. That writer's room is indicative of what you see, right? Yes. Well, because look, the, because the other thing again, going back to that whole joke that he told that got him in trouble the last time. That was clearly an improv joke. When he, well, not even a joke, just improv thing. When he yeah. said uh, he was in it or whatever, yeah. yeah, that was improv. The joke that was written before it and mm-hmm. the joke about the counselor was in the writers' room, right. like you yeah. say. They're like, okay, say that. That's yeah. gonna that's gonna get some headlines. They, yeah. they know. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so um, Saturday Night Live, it's it's it needs help. Okay. Um, <laughs> what, what 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 else? What, oh yeah, you know what? I mentioned this on the team match. The other day, if you saw it, but if you weren't, if you didn't watch, you didn't know yet. But I'll make the announcement here: um, Dan Merle, the current uh, movie fights champion, yeah. the current movie trivia schmodown champion, his teammate is the outlaw John Roca. Well, they've got their next teammates, ladies and gentlemen, and excuse me, next opponents. Their next opponents, and those opponents will be the Wildberries. Oh. That's right, Josh McCuga. Wow. Oh man, Josh McCuga. Wow. Again, the thing wow. is. I- so um, they're one and one. No, I get that. And the Wildberries are two and three right now. Yeah. Here's my thing. All I know is there's going to be a lot of alcohol consumed during oh, sure. this. And <laughs> this is going to be beautiful just for the tape. And, like, everybody's going to be in the studio drunk. Yeah. Hopefully we can get you drunk before you have your match. Well, you know, I used to drink before matches with Nost to calm my nerves. <sighs> is that true? Yeah. yeah. I used to come out. With, if you watch the old matches of me and Nost, I used to come out with my bourbon because it yeah, kind of calmed yeah. my nerves. Yeah. But the, sta- the stakes, though, are pretty the big stakes here. stakes are high. Because if, you guys right now are touted to be on that May 18th Houston match you lose yeah. that and i don't know how i can bring you there. that's fair that's yeah. fair i, I mean, look the wa- josh mcgooka pulls answers out of his butt all the time and it's you it's don't know what pants. you're gonna get it's those pants it's it's those pants. Pants. i don't know what we get with <laughs> elliot so elliot will be interesting what <laughs> yeah. he brings to the table i'm nervous as hell it's a dangerous team to play no what you it's need to not do a is given. you need to go behind the stage guys let's just drink ourselves silly you and dan drink apple juice and dewberry say hey hey so yeah i just you guys, with hey, the blue and the right, championship. Start right hey. answers down. Round one, they start right Ellie right answers down. Yeah. Oh, oh, he gets loud. Ha! What happened? Wait a minute. Hey. Uh, repeat oh, the. Right. What do I have? Repeat. Yeah. So what do they repeat. That'll be we'll interesting. See. We'll see. That'll be interesting. Yeah. And then uh, once again, guys. We just want guys, corruption. That's what we want. I know. I know. They, they, we want our revenge on those guys. Then they want you guys too. So yeah. that, that'll lead up to it, hopefully. But March twenty third. March twenty third is the free for all. March 23rd is the free-for-all. You get 40 competitors all going at it. It's downtown L.A. at the Globe Theater. Get your tickets at theschmodownlive.com. Thank you. As well <laughs> as the big event in Chicago, Saturday night, April 13th. Thank you, Shia. Theschmodownlive.com. And live streaming tickets are now available also at theschmodownlive.com uh, for the free-for-all. You can get those streaming tickets if you're not able to attend. Thank you. <laughs> Let the dreams be dreams. Stream it. Do it. Shmoe on live. And then Houston. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Right. You did say yesterday that you wanted to go. Well, true. Just do it. So just do it. May 18th, Houston at the Booker T Stadium. Go get it. Go get those tickets. ShmoeOnLive.com. Um, okay, so what else we got going on? Riley, got anything going on in the world of news? Anything worth a damn? Uh, yeah, you know, we got mm-hmm. a little bit of stuff. You know, they, they're they saying that they're probably going to reveal the trailer and uh, title for episode nine. At Celebrations, of are course. you shocked? What? I, mean, I, I think surprised. everybody knew that. Are was you good. shocked? Yeah, I mean, that would be, I mean, even Pablo Hidalgo at one point, people were like, because they announced the panel and someone goes, you think they're going to talk about what's going on in episode nine? He goes, pretty stupid if they didn't. Pablo <laughs> 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 Hidalgo yeah. said that. It's like, you know, it's, you'd assume. It's the no shit Sherlock uh, yeah, news I mean, of the Week. Well, because this is their yeah, this is their <laughs> the Comic Con. No sense, Sherlock do. I think they learned their lesson, right? Because in two thousand, for a long time before Disney bought Lucasfilm, the, the Star Wars celebration was just a place for Star Wars fans to mm-hmm. go and have a good celebrate, yeah. have a good time, relive in all the past movies. There were no new movies coming out. There was no news to be had. But ever since the acquisition from Disney in 2015, it became a news outlet also, mm-hmm. Celebration. And it was huge with this Force Awakens trailer. Everybody talked about it. Rebels. All this stuff. So people lost their minds. 
and then they shit the bed in 2016 in London where everybody was waiting for that same exact experience yeah. and they got nothing. You didn't get Rogue One. Rogue One wasn't <laughs> yeah. ready. The only thing you got was Thrawn in Rebels. That was the big news of the weekend. Mm -hmm. And they went, Oof, well, we can't do that. So they go back, they go to uh, Orlando. Orlando. Had a lot of nice news. They had the, the, the tribute to Carrie Fisher, that was obviously. Great. They did all that stuff and it was, and people were satisfied again. We, the trailer came out for episode eight and people were, were good to go. So they this one's five days long. Yeah. So they know they're gonna open up Big with that episode nine. Yeah, they're gonna hit you with that trailer, and everybody's gonna be excited talking about it. it pumps it up the rest yeah, of the week. The buzz will be going on for the entire weekend. So you'll get you'll get the trailer, and JJ will come out, and then and then you know what? Then they're gonna talk about Galaxy's Edge and everything yeah. too. So, Kate, is your is your house a Star Wars? Like, is your, is your, are your kids into it yet? He, not yet. Not yet. He, he loves Clone Wars. Is he your oh, oldest? Okay. Your four year old? Yeah, oldest? My, is my oldest. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So he's a Clone Star Wars, Wars kid, but he's but he's through Clone Wars first. Yes. Have you shown him the movies yet? No, okay. we have all of them. Okay. But we haven't, I mean, he, Bumblebee was too yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clone Wars has yeah. some dark Clone stuff. Clone Wars, Wars does have yeah. some dark stuff. Yeah. And he'll say, like, I don't like this part. You fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> That's not offensive. I'm not doing a stereotype. Wait, That's just actually <laughs> what he does. <laughs> what? That's yeah. how he's got a speech. Did you buy this one? What have you been doing in your own time? That was my favorite. That was my favorite question. Roka goes, so before we went on air. So, Kate, what do you do? Trying to find, find out. out. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find out. <laughs> Trying to find out. Yeah, we, 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 brought, we brought her back, ladies and gentlemen. She's, she's back in it. Fans, fans really dug you. Fans loved you yesterday. They want, they want more mulligan. Checks are in the mail, that's, fans. That's the truth. Here you go. You can get, yeah. This is actually really nice. Look at Riley, oh. tell me about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, this. this is from a, a, a wow. fan of yeah. Collider Live, Colt Badu. Colt Badu. I, I, I hope I'm uh, pronouncing that correct. I like he sent this in the mail. And uh, this is one for the studio. He sent this as uh, oh. Look at the big oh, man. This is big awesome. man. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. And then, of course, gave Christian that one, yeah. and he uh, drew the cover. I love my Superman one, because uh, Henry Cavill has the mustache. mustache. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, this is the one that, that floored me. Yeah. yeah. This yeah, is the one. That's yeah, really we were here awesome. yesterday when yeah. he was opening these, and it was it's just such, like he uh, really did, and he nailed Cal's smile too. Right. He got Cal, and I yeah. love the Cal's like on a on a cloud overlooking all of yeah. us right now. Yeah, it's really cool, and especially his mom and dad. Yeah. I know, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It still so smells breath. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I still have a slobber on <laughs> he, my He's got a great Instagram too. He does oh. this at cons. It's oh, at oh, Cole wow. Badu. Which and, reminds uh, me, this is like, there's only two people in this room that remember Taz. I know. It's like you and me. You remember Tazzy. You remember Taz. Yeah. The his pug. pug. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 Holy Tazzy. Remember, shit. Remember how Taz, Taz was the original? He was the original show. He Shmuel. was the dumbest. <laughs> no, he dumb was not dumb. <laughs> how dare you? Taz was the dumbest. <laughs> no, that was a. He was not dumb at all. He was the story Ed about from the Lion King. He was the smartest dog. He, <laughs> he, 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 that dog, he did, like I was telling, I tell this story every single time. The McGriddle story will change your filthy mind yeah. right away. <laughs> he, my, my buddy, my buddy I'm was. With you. How my, dare you? Yeah, my buddy, my buddy was watching him uh, at, when I was away, and he goes, I came in, I had the McGriddles, and I take them, I put them down on the, on the table, and I go upstairs, and I hear something. Walk back down. McGriddles are fine. They're, they're not touched. The bag's touched. Okay, good. The dog went in, maneuvered, did not open, took them both out, ate both the McGriddles, and left them perfectly so he wouldn't get, so the mess wouldn't be there. That is not a dumb dog. That it's is an asshole dog. dog. That's an asshole dog. <laughs> That's an asshole dog. <laughs> I, you know, it, it, you're, maybe he wasn't dumb, but he looked he looked like he Ed did. from the line. He was just like, oh, he, like, oh, oh yeah, he like, looked like a like, like a his, monster. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He looked dumb. He had yeah. dumb resting yeah. face. Sometimes he did dumb things. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, he did have dumb resting he face. He, he had the same face. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it was one of those, like the mail would drop every day. The mail would drop inside of my apartment because it was one of those mailboxes that you put it in, just hit the thing, and the dog knew every single day, and he would run through it, bite it. Throw it and then leave. I was like, you know, it's male, stupid. So that, oh, that part okay. of it. Oh, okay. So you are coming around to he my did, side. He did dumb things sometimes, oh, okay. but he still knew what he was doing. He just wanted to rip it that around. That was just to throw you off. Yeah, he, yeah he's smart. Dog. He knew what he, he was doing. He did dumb stuff so you would think he was dumb right. and then do smart he, shit. He, he maneuvered. So you have to yeah. constantly be on, on so this is this is the last time you're on this show, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> just get your yeah, papers. True. Hey, oh. Well, um, in that case, let me spill all the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm taking true. notes for this. I know. It's true. <laughs> fill her up. Fill her up. <laughs> I, know. I am. I, like I said, I was wearing a Giants hat the other day, so I'm a glutton for punishment. But I was going to. Um, I was going to. Uh, one day, I thought of it. I was th having. 
Roxy, Kate, and Doreen on the same show and mm. trying to maneuver and see see how I, I want, can survive. Yeah, I just want to see that, and you just sit there and say nothing. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that won't yeah, happen. that won't happen. Yeah, Doreen, that won't happen. Doreen, Kate, and Roxy. I, well, I believe Rock, they'll stand on this, the rest of this table because this shit is about to... Well, I might want to Ro- get that cow well, off this shit because this shit goes... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock, save the cow picture. Yeah. Well, Roxy, Roxy would have to find the table. This is true. Yeah, she'd get lost. <laughs> 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 Christian, I made two laps. Where's the difference? Uh, it's Four lefts is a circle. Yeah, Roxy called in from Canada. She was on her way to <laughs> screen junkies. She, she thought she was calling in to screen junkies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know she's listening right now. She's just like, yeah. Well, it's true. It's it true. That's what I love about her, though. She can. Love she, her. She's no, a good sport. She oh, also she, said that is very, very, very true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She knows that if there's one person who will not say is not defensive mm-hmm. and will say who call her own shit out, it's Roxy for yeah. sure. You on the other hand. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's let's move on. Let's get some any questions from the Facebook group today. Join the Facebook group by the way. Facebook the Cl- uh, live official group. Go on in there. There's over 16,000 of you already, or close to it. 16,000 people inside that group. Yeah. We have what? 15,900 members. Wow. So it's really good. Wow. We got questions going. Yeah, on we got we got a lot. I grabbed one because uh, we got, got a lot of Schmodown people here. Richard right, K. Got? Humphrey asks, "What is everyone who has been in the Schmodown favorite behind the scenes moment? Is there any behind the scenes?" I, stuff? I, you know what? I do have a favorite behind the scenes moment, and it's actually captured in the, a. A great um, video cut together by Frank, by the way, when we were doing behind the scenes, and it was during the Riley and Roca title match. Mm. And there's a shot of Roca in his own head, just kind of sitting down Indian style on the floor. I think he had the mask oh, on, yeah. mm-hmm. and he's just kind of sitting down. And it was such a perfect moment because I, again, and I always give you the credit. I give you the credit whether it's off air or on air, and I say that Roca was the guy. That you, you like, we were just talking about with Smets and how Smets is like a big yeah. studier. Bateman's a big studier. Rachel and and Kalinowski. He was the first guy to really put in all the groundwork to say I'm taking this shit really seriously. You know, I just feel like I just have too much shit on my plate. I'm doing. I'm just gonna have to just cancel. Just stand up and everything. Just focus just on moving. Oh yeah, that's true. yeah, that's what I do. Just I take everything off my plate. I did it and did everything else. <laughs> Motherfucker. What the fuck else you got and on your titles, plate? We, we know what all you got on your plate. Typing up uh, shit for sports time and then hearing right. me complain. Right. About that, and hosting the shows, hosting the show, complaining about that, making four grand a month with my two podcasts. Keep going. <laughs> Look at him, damn, damn. Ball keep bag. going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I appreciate you saying that, honestly, yeah. because some people forget, like, and they try to claim like they're the ones. Or I got made fun of when I was taking it so seriously, right. and well, all that, the people used to make point. fun of me now. Yeah, they do it. They do it no, now, that, and one yeah. time it's because of how I, I know. And I, well, I just tell you to calm down after. I, I get how serious you take it. Oh, like, that's fair. When you lose, you're right. I have to tell. I'm like, look, man, can you step off this ledge, please? Because yeah. he, be, oh, he no, does, no, no, I don't get like that. No, well, I get emotional. That's what I'm saying. But that, I don't that, that, no, I'm not no, saying no, suicide. I'm no, saying no, the, the emotional. He, he, he just means like, don't get off the get off the nutty ledge. Yeah, because yeah. like because you do you hey, look and I've had to calm you down a couple oh, sure. times afterwards. Sure. You're like it's funny when you say it. And I was on Booker T show for, in on ESPN and I said it. I was like. You guys are mental athletes. I know some people go, really? Mm. You see what they put themselves through? Mm. You really are. They put And so, mm. anyway, that, that moment of you, if you, you can watch, I think it's the, uh, you just go to the Riley Roca behind the scenes, oh. and it's, it's a great moment. It's a great yeah. Moment. So, I, I think it's funny, too, because I, I, I remember that one. You are so in the zone. I'm bouncing around, dancing, trying to get. <laughs> that's my version. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's mm-hmm. me getting loose. So that you're, that's yeah. your and, thing, and that's my thing. And if people want to see us talking about that match, we, isn't that up oh, on yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a uh, commentary. The commentary. commentary. There are a lot of commentary. Really fun. Yeah. There's a commentary between you guys. There's a commentary yeah. between Copster Sounds and Sounds like uh, we have a call. Do we have a call? That was a plug. No. Oh. oh, I don't know what that was. No, we have, we there's have, no, no. Yeah. No, you, you, he'll tell us when we have a call. I thought you. it was yeah. just, I, you know, I hear t- chimes and shit. I'm like, oh, that's yeah, a call? Right. Call well, waiting? You're, well, you're new. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Sorry, right. I'm a rookie here. <laughs> yeah. See, Roca, I get to be a rookie here. Moment. Was that? By, yeah. There's so much that fans uh, don't know that goes on behind the scenes. You, and oh, yeah. after matches and gets cut out of those things. It's, right. it's Do you have a favorite incredible. behind the scenes moment? Riley, you got one? Jay? You know, uh, new ones, new lately because it's fresh in my mind, yeah. but some great behind the scenes with me, Bateman, and Dagnino mm. before a match. You know, we get in the zone. We, we You know, Dagnino gives us some, you know, pointers, some pep talks. I put on a little music. Uh, Bateman and I share a little sniff of uh, bourbon before we walk in. And well, you know, really well, I'm glad you had to include bourbon. I was oh, like, yeah. it's like a sniff <laughs> of <laughs> oh, okay. well, before you get, well, and a sniff of, okay. you know. <laughs> but before you get to that, though, too, no, one of the things that it's just, Brianne Chandler, actually, when we she was running the Patreon, 
it originated with her. Now Emma and Cameron have taken that on as well too. They're, the tier, I believe it's at the five dollar tier for a Patreon. There's an exclusive every month behind the scenes yeah. of yeah. that month, mm. and it's just all the matches, everything going on. It's really good. So the fans have really enjoyed it. So if you want to go, once again, it's patreoncom slash schmodown. But you got one, Marco? I think one of my favorites uh, was when we were fighting Christian and Ellis for the titles the first time. Yeah. And uh, both Christian and Ellis tried to mind fuck me before I walked. What did we do? <laughs> well, I was laying against the wall, and I'm like, remember, I'm in super intense right, mode, right. and Nos, Nos never took it too seriously, which is why we were a good balance. Nos would keep me calm, uh, and you know, and so, but Ellis comes up, smacks my chest while I'm completely fucked. Goes in my leg. Goes, you ready? You ready, guy? You ready, guy? You ready? You sure you're ready? And the Christian would come up. You ain't got it. You ain't got it anymore. You ain't got it. You, so they both like tag team me, right. and I was like. You <laughs> I don't remember that, but yeah, I believe it. It was great. It was like, uh, and Matt, and Matt, perfect. Before we walk out there, Matt goes, "We're gonna kill these motherfuckers." And I was, like, <laughs> yeah, we that was that was the stupidest match we ever played. The <laughs> stupid movie we released it. So dumb for me. It's it, so it's, dumb. It's a, it's a couple of them. Uh, Brienne and Stacy when they got costumes and everything. Just watching them, make, Brienne sitting there going five, six, seven, doing all the choreography yeah, and everything. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. And Janine's first match. Me first match. Oh, her yeah. first match. Mm -hmm. Me telling her, come the fuck down. Yeah. Because I saw it in her face. She was like, in New York, too, so right? It, New York's, it was, it was way there's worse. There's a cool moment in New York to in the behind the scenes where there's actually you in the in the dressing room talking to her, which was really yeah, cool. Yeah, I was just like, look, you play the game. I tell everybody, just play the game. Mm. Win or lose, play the game, first and foremost. Just get out. She was like, this, this is a live thing. I'm like, I get it. Yeah. I, I understand. I've been in front of crowds like this. I've been in front of a stadium with nothing but spandex and boots on. So, like, I, right. I was nice. a pro wrestler for 16 years. Yeah. yeah. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Write like, that down. I Write that Kate down. Kate takes notes. So, yeah. So, I, like, I've been in these, these situations. Breathe. <laughs> and enjoy the it, moment. Yeah. And get into it. Riley? Yeah. Well, you said, you said the bourbon one was your one. Yeah, your that one. was okay, cool. Like, uh, Kate, did you have a? Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's, uh, do we have, do we have, a, do we have. My favorite behind the scenes <laughs> was. When well, when we were I taking... was giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> we're, Yo, we were, you watch him, watch and you were all yeah. quizzing each other. We were on doing Jody. Trivia. We were doing jo Jody, <laughs> Jody shots at the uh, at, at room five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jody yeah. Shots. Birth scared Love me. those Jody shots. <laughs> Whatever happened to Jody the bartender? Jo Not Jody Miller. Oh, Jody. Jody the bar. Jody the bartender. Holy yeah, that's that was that was You're my like, that was my birth. Dust off her memories, man. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know it's true. Uh, Riley, do we? Uh, well, first of all, Cody, you got any phone calls? Not right now, Derek. <laughs> all right, thank you. All right, wow. do we have a uh, do we have another Facebook question? Saw yeah. you could have gotten into I, I go back and forth. Here's a Twitter. Okay. Uh, this is actually a good one. I was thinking about this is from our our old friend Rocky Drago sixty six. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Uh, Captain Marvel's success proves the MCU is a franchise with the most loyal fan base right now. Do you believe that? Because DC and Star Wars can't say that because Justice League failed, Solo failed. What do you think of that? What do you make of that? No, I also think it's narrative because yeah. it, it's the main thing right now. What Marvel has a lock on is that they have a they have a, a, a through line. They have a story mm -hmm. that that started ten years ago and yeah. it's, and it's coming into this ending here at mm -hmm. the end of April. So people want to see how this fits into the next chapter. The the saga films in Star Wars are doing very well because people still want to see how they're going to do. Like Episode nine may do significantly less than mm. Last Jedi, but it's not going to be a failure. It's going to do well. Solo, nobody ever asked for that movie. Mm -hmm. um, it was marketed terribly. Mm. It didn't fit into anything, and it wasn't the same character that we were used to. It had a lot of problems. Those were just like four of them, but like mm. the, the, that had nothing to do. As far as DC, DC's starting to do very well. Yeah, but and they yeah. don't have a narrative, but they're doing they're doing separate movies. They have a different strategy. That's what I was just about to say. Their narrative is we're going to build these stories and build yeah. these characters, and then maybe we come back together. Because they're like, look, we're not rushing to do that anymore. Right. And I think that was after Justice League. Oh, but see, but then and the I, whole I, I, shake -ups. I wonder because <laughs> Justice League was a culmination. That was what they yeah, were leading towards. To yeah. And so is it? Is it though? It yeah, was. It was. was. It, it was coming up. We had we were coming off of Wonder Woman, <laughs> didn't turn out well, which crushed. Was. And we, we had the cliffhanger. Will Superman live? Yeah. Yeah. Of course he will. And so we were going into that, and it still kind of doesn't do very well. Right. So yeah. I wonder. Hmm. All right. Cool. Yeah, and this, we'll see what the Sujihara stuff does do. Him. Right. Oh, well, he probably, well, you know, he sat there and was like, look, I'm very sorry. I want to move forward. <laughs> but, like, he was, I know, he was shepherding this he thing. He was shepherding. Yeah, yeah, he was doing we'll a lot. What happens. We'll I think Juan's going to slide into that spot. And take yeah. James Juan's going yet? Yeah. I can see that. Wow. I see Juan is absolutely but going do, But see, does that take away from him doing the Aquaman sequel? 
he won't do the sequel. Oh, yeah. he'll do the sequel. He won't do the trench. I uh, know so he's he, definitely not. He, he, but he's, he's producing be, the trench. I think he's he's gonna, gonna slide. The sequel's not coming out for like four years. Yeah, he's yeah, twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Wait, Juan, no, Juan taking over like a, a head position at a studio. Yeah, I you think, think he's, so. Has I that think been has that been rumored? Is that just you speculating? No, that's my my no, speculation. Yeah. he's slowly moving up the chain like a mogul. I don't think he's shown aspirations to want to do that. No, I don't think he's going to away from film. He's still executive producing Conjure. He he moved out of the, but he's still in charge of the overall Conjure universe. Now moving into this Aquaman, making a billion dollars gives you cachet in that studio. He could move now further up. Sujahara brought him in. Yeah, or Sujahara. I just was, don't know if that's like, something that... Not I don't that think he, he wants to. I don't think he wants to. Yeah, yeah who we'll wants that headache? Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Money, son. No, 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 no. And notoriety. No, no, that's, 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 that that from... that's a headache because of how much it's been switched around. Okay. When right. it gets announced. I'm sorry, Riley. When right. it gets announced. Yeah, no, you're fine. Uh, Cody? No. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. thank you. Yeah. All right, so is, no, is, the phone, no, is, is the phone not working or something? No. Okay, thank you. All right, Riley, what else we got? Uh, you want to go? Okay. Yeah, we got something because apparently the phone's broken or something. Yeah, yeah I guess so. We got to jump right. out. Anyway. We also have less what than time? a minute. Oh, oh, we have less yeah. than a minute. Oh, I don't know. It's time. Okay. Th- yeah. Well, thank you, Cody. You could have said that instead of playing Brett, but <laughs> but you wanted to be no Brett. No, thank you. Okay, look, that's the end of the show. It's uh, <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> it comes quick. Comes quick. I told him it's an been, hour. It's been a full week. It's been a lot of fun. We found a brand new star in Kate Mulligan. Yeah. Yeah, so nice Kate. to have Kate. Kate, Thanks, come back soon. We will find out a way to get you back uh, sooner than later. And thank you to Jay Washington, uh, John woo-hoo. Roca, thank you. and to everybody. Once again, guys, March 23rd, you got one week left. One week left to get those tickets for the free for all. Go and get them. You can also get the live streaming at theschmodownlive.com. Subscribe to this channel here. We're brand new. Go to the podcast channel. Look at some of the clips that we have over there, and we'll see you next time. Not right now, Derek!